You're watching the Steve's Haunted Yard Channel. Get your on on. All right, it is the next day, people. <clears throat> Didn't really do much today. Um, I got the big columns out. Uh, each one of them had a yellow jacket nest in it. So, <laughs> so I had to take care of that. Um, <clears throat> my two phoenixes will go on top of there this year sideways like that. I had them facing out when I first put them out here. And I was like, all right, Julie, you are the uh, creative director this year, so what's up? Does that look good? And she's like, you know, I don't know. They need to be bigger. So then I'm like, hey, what if I turn them sideways? And they look much better sideways. So I'm glad she suggested that. But what I need to do now is I need to do something to keep these from falling off. I need to add like some wooden trim around there or something so they don't blow off because I really like those. Um, and uh, man, is that all I did today? Well, I brought this fencing around. So yeah, I guess technically that's all I did was bring the columns out, the phoenixes, and brought some of the fencing out here. Tomorrow I'm off work, so I will probably... Um, get the fencing up tomorrow. <clears throat> so, but I think what I'm going to do, okay, <clears throat> see how I have the cemetery fence there? Normally these columns are a lot closer together. Well, they're, they're not going to be that close together because I'm going to put them on either side of the garage. I mean, uh, garage, the driveway. So I was thinking about putting the fencing, the decorative part here, with the tall part starting up high and slanting down. Um, and then I've got two of the taller, and I'll do a small column, and then a tall panel, small column, tall panel, and I may need to make one more tall panel um, to, ooh, that sun. Just got hella bright. Um, so I can have a tall front all the way across here this year. That might look really cool. I was going to start cutting and making the frame to hold these on. And then I was in the workshop there and I was like, hey, I have this really tough uh, steel wire. So why don't I just do a couple of strands of wire over the top of this thing? That sucker ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> So, much easier, much faster. Um, boom. Yeah. I mean, it's it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. So, now I got to do this one. Be good to go. Oh, snap, people. Look at this. Getting some fencing up. All right. So, let me show you guys what's the dealio. Oh, and look. Yeah. I got my tool belt on. Bam. <clears throat> so, alright, got that column up, the small section of tall fence there, small column there, then I'll do the small fencing along this section, the mausoleum will be in the back. So that'll be the same as last year, because there's really no other good place to put the mausoleum. It won't really go over here anywhere. Because I've got the big hearse there. That's a great focal point there. I don't want to cover up the fountain area. we got the the uh, facade. And of course the hearse will be in the driveway. It won't make sense to put it on the driveway anywhere. So mausoleum will stay on that side this year. So that, that works. But uh, <clears throat> got both columns out and started fencing here now this was new fencing that i made i think last minute last year it's a little bit longer huh okay cool um it's a little bit longer so i used it to try to go all the way across this year but it doesn't have finials so i still have to put all those finials on there with it that's going to be a pain in the ass but this fencing was the best for the front Yes, I've told them you're making all decisions, but you haven't been out here this morning making no decisions. I was in the shower. Why wasn't I in the shower? Oh. 
So, yeah, I had discussed or I had talked with Julie yesterday about putting this fencing instead of making it a gate, which doesn't go all the way across, so it's not, you know, functional as a close as closing a gate, but so it's just decorative. And I had put it on this side, and she didn't like it. It just didn't. It just didn't. It wasn't going to go right. So what I decided to do was. I built these two taller fences um, last year, and to tie them together with the interior gates, yesterday I put on some more that decorative trimming. I put some on this, so they're kind of tied together. So, still have to do a little more decorative trim up here. Julie will tell me where to put that. She's telling me where to put it. I know. So, anyway, so I'm going to discuss with her this end fence piece down here. She's going to tell me where to put it. <laughs> Julie's making me destroy my fence. No, I'm not. It needs to look good. I'm in charge this year. Who's in charge? Um, Who's in charge? Julie's in charge of the yard this year. That's just, right. Just one time. It'll be every year. Every year? Yeah, my visions are good. Who has the best wife? Steve's on the yard. Has the best wife, that's right. Ooh, there's an acorn went in the hole today. Right cool Halloween finds today. Um, got this at TJ Maxx. Um, holds two candles. Completely awesome. Um, this was also at TJ Maxx, a set of four bowls really cool um this um pewter tray this was at home goods it's got the two skulls and crossbones on there which is really neat and then this knife at williams williams and sonoma try to get this open with one hand here here hold on Williams and Sonoma knife. It's got a skull on it. Both sides. And this is a really good knife too. So, pretty cool and it's got this nice case for it. So there's our finds for today. There's the curious kitty. Where are you going kitty? Are you running? We got Gravy a costume, but she don't like it, because she's a kitty. Look, it's a cute little tie. Come on, kitty, that's not much. That's not much. Please subscribe today.